You ever plan the perfect summer beach day only to have it ruined by a sign that says, no swimming may cause illness. Health departments test for E. coli, which is a bacteria that's commonly found in the guts of animals, including humans. There's a lot of pathogens in poop that can make us sick, but it's difficult to test for all of them. So health departments look for E. coli as an indicator of fecal contamination. Where is the poop coming from? Mostly on land. Bacterial contamination is often higher after a heavy rainfall because the stormwater runoff picks up the things that we do on land and carries it into surface waters. The most common sources of fecal contamination in urban areas are from wastewater treatment systems, especially overflows after heavy rains, aging infrastructure that leaks. There's also septic systems that aren't properly maintained, and also animals, farm animals, pets, like dogs, and wild animals, especially things like geese. The Clean Water Act requires health departments to test for fecal contamination. And before the Clean Water Act was enacted in 1972, you could basically dump anything in the water. And as a result, surface waters were heavily polluted with things like industrial waste. The Cuyahoga River famously caught on fire in 1969. The Clean Water Act is why our surface waters are cleaner than they were 50 years ago, and also why the public is notified when it's potentially unsafe to swim. If we want cleaner beaches, we need to pay attention to what we do on land. Always clean up after your pet, reduce stormwater runoff, plant rain gardens, and capture water before it runs off into surface waters. Support efforts at maintaining and strengthening the Clean Water Act and efforts to improve wastewater treatment systems and infrastructure. While it might be annoying to have your beach day ruined, at least it's better than swimming in poop. And also, if the last 50 years has taught us anything, it's that we do have the power to make our surface waters safer.